Hey, welcome to the Thunderstrike Motors tutorial about our EVCC basic kit. You'll receive your EVCC in a box like this. I'll go over the contents and then show you how the EVCC is wired. We provide a product guide for finding manuals on the website, a wiring guide for charger CAN bus connections, more on CAN bus uh, in another video. We'll also give you a list of settings if you ask for custom configurations. You'll find a bag with twisted wires for 12 volt and CAN connections, a serial cable for the user interface, the EVCC unit, and a small bag with uh, wiring parts. The serial cable has a USB connector for a computer on one end and a phone plug for the EVCC on the other. You'll see it plug into the EVCC here just for example. The little bag has a CAN termination resistor for systems without a BMS and a wire connector and a wire release tool. You'll see the little resistor here. It's optional for most systems. If you have just an EVCC and a charger, then you may need it. So we'll start the, with the connector. It has eight, eight pins. The number one pin is shown on the left here. It has a mark on it. And you'll be able to insert it only one way. The number one pin will be connecting to the black wire, which is the negative 12 volt connection. Pushing it in hard makes it lock in place. And you can squeeze the ends with your fingers to release it. Now let's prepare the wires uh, for the connector. You'll start by uh, straightening the ends of each wire. This makes it easier both to strip and to insert them into the wire connector. You'll be stripping off a quarter inch of the insulation on each end, each of these exposed ends and uh, try to be close to a quarter inch. I found that in practice a quarter inch is of exposed bare wire is really good. Uh, you'll insert it fully into the connector and a little bit of the insulation will also be recessed. So that protects wires from shorting or having exposed wiring um, after some use. Looking at the polarity on the wires is important. Uh, the black wire will go into the number one hole. And that's at the very end. It also often helps to twist the wire ends, makes them easier to go in, and uh, keeps stray strands from getting in the way. They lock into place, and you'll see that the insulation is also recessed. And we'll do the same for the CAN bus wires. CAN high is green, CAN low is blue in our systems. And you'll insert those in the appropriate slots. And you'll see in the, the close-up I'm going to show here that there's a, a wire tool is inserted into this connector just to demonstrate how it's used. With that connector locked in place, the wires are very secure. You can see on the right the, the green wire could be released right now because that tool is inserted into the square hole above it. We'll be using alligator clips to power the EVCC just for a test run up. That's a little battery that has the polarity marked on the terminals. We're following black to black and red to red all the way. With the final connection, the EVCC will power up. And you'll notice the light will flash, which means it's uh, in operational status. This concludes our review of the EVCC basic kit and wiring. For your next steps, check out the charger wiring and EVCC configuration tutorials coming soon to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.